Oh, we're back at it again. All right, so it's now Thursday. Um, yeah, beautiful day. Bright and sunny, probably going to be hot as shit later. Uh, we have a few things we got to finish up out here. Um, won't be too bad, though. We got to finish up that. That's going to be pretty easy. I think I'm going to take that last piece, that very top piece out, and then put in a nice piece of trim Hello. all along the very top, kind of how they had before. Um, that way I can use that notch that I used, or that I notched out the uh, siding for. Um, I think that'll work out nicely. Put that in there, side up the rest. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I can caulk a whole bunch of stuff, including that, that, all along the trim, as well as over here. Blah blah. Then the wife wants to paint. She wants to paint inside here, which means I have to get shit done in here. Uh, so, that will be our biggest issue, because here, they used to have this and plastered it down into here, which, which is great if you have plaster, um, not so great if you're using drywall. Um, so this is going to be another challenge all in itself, but nothing we can't overcome. We just got to figure out what the fuck we're going to do. <sighs> okay. The nerve of this woman. She just asked me why I don't have a shirt on. So I had a follow up question for her. Why does she have a shirt on? See, I prefer the Socratic method. Answer a question by asking a question. Don't question me. Don't question me. Don't judge me. Just because I've had a few too many muffins in my life doesn't mean I have to run around with a shirt on all the damn time. It's fucking hot out here. I think I've officially reached the age where I can't trust the fart anymore. Didn't know that was 33. So folks out there, uh, uh, it's 33. Don't trust a fart. Bruh, I am going to do whatever I can to make this stretch so I do not have to go to Home Depot today. I will not go to Home Depot today. I will not go to Home Depot today. I will not. Go to Home Depot today. Speak it into existence, Chris. Speak it into existence. <laughs> Well, so I went to the bathroom and I told Harley to watch the baby. Keep an eye on her. So I come out. I've heard that. I don't think she's going to edit that out. Helpy Lopey. Say something to the camera. <laughs> she liked the camera. Okay. We did it. We did it. We literally have one left, and we don't have to go to Home Depot. I did it. Oh, God, I did it. We don't have to go Home Depot for the day. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. I did it.
I don't have to go to Home Depot. Oh God. Who to thank? Who to thank? I have my children to thank. <laughs> I have the Academy. I have my 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 wife for believing in me. Oh my God, so many people to thank. I just don't have to go to Home Depot. Yes! Oh, would you take a look at that? See now folks, that, that just looks nice. Um, that just looks real nice. Uh, so, we're done with the siding. All we got left to do now is we have a lot of caulking to do. So much caulk. So much caulk. Like, more caulk than the first time. This is, this is so much caulk that we have to do. I'm gonna get my hair There's, done. I mean, th this might as well be a gangbang. There's gonna be so many cocks up in there. It's gonna be great. Oh, you're gonna get your hair done again? Yeah. You're an evil little child. You know that? Yeah. Look at that smile. Look, just look. Little creepy little bastard. Hey. She's been climbing for hours. She is bourgeoisie because she's conquering that pile of blankets, Dad. Do you agree with me? No, the bourgeoisie is the government. Yes! Well, she we have everything cocked. I had some bigger gaps up there, but you know what? A little silicone did the trick. I got everything that needs caulked. Caulked. And now we just let it set up. And then you paint after. And everything should be good. Alright. Now we come in here and deal with this fucking nightmare. <sighs> I'm not entirely sure what to do at this moment in time and how to get it done. But I'm sure we will figure it out together. So, we are removing this this and trying to leave this anything that's flush like all these new frames that I put in we're gonna leave those so they are flush with the door so I can go ahead and drywall all this in drywall that in and then we'll drywall that in and then add trim around the door however <laughs> these that I put in I secured to this guy. So that's biting me in the ass currently. Um, yeah, yeah, it's kind of screwing me, but ain't nothing that a sawzall and a pry bar can't fix. Yay. Dance, monkey! Dance for me! Dance! <laughs> Alright, now I can get back to work. So we have all that crap removed. Now we're gonna start sticking drywall in there. Uh, one thing I did do was I removed some trim over from the front door to kind of get an idea of how exactly they did it. Um, and so I'm going to go off of pretty much what they did. I'm gonna leave at least the gap uh, undrywalled. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drywall up to there and then I'm gonna be putting the trim in back there. So, that should work. Adrian got her hair cut. Stand up, show me. You like it? Turn around. It looks very nice. I like it. 
Vespa, Harley. I'm having a proud father moment right now. Let's go find him. I'm so proud. Harley. He's got a fucking mullet. Look at me, boy. That's all business in the front. And he's almost got a party in the back. I'm so proud of you, son. Harley, now all you're missing is your cut-off Iron Maiden t-shirt and some Budweiser and watching some NASCAR. Right. This is my little redneck. I love you, son. All right. So, we got it all drywalled in. Uh, Brittany said she was going to take it from here and do all the taping and mudding. Which is cool. I mean, I don't exactly like taping and mudding. Uh, thank God for taping mud because it hides a lot of the drywall bullshit. <laughs> but I think this is a good place to stop for the day. Five o'clock. Uh, I think we did a good job. I think we got a lot accomplished. Face in your face.